what's going on guys it's power washer 210 and today we're gonna work on this mighty m pressure washer we're gonna do a carburetor clean now so we're gonna start out by taking off the uh carburetor the filter cover and there's two 10 millimeter nuts that we have to take off so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket or maybe a small ratchet one quarter inch also you're gonna need some needle nose some pliers, and maybe we're also gonna need a hose clamp so make sure you move those levers the fuel and the choke to the front and there's a hose on the side detach that from the plastic cover once you take that plastic cover there is a gasket right in the front a thick gasket take make sure you remove that you can also take off that uh choke lever right there that way it won't fall off or get lost so make sure that you take that hose clamp right there move it a little bit up just so that you can release the hose the few hose coming from your tank once you uh, move that clamp you have more access on moving that hose sometimes you're probably going to need to use a vice grips to kind of you know move grab it and move it a little bit loosen it up a little bit and that way you can remove it easily i myself use the needle nose take to move that clamp a little bit up once i do that i kind of yank it up a little bit that way you can loosen it up once you cut it loose make sure you put your hose clamp that way you don't have fuel coming out so now it's sometimes it's kind of hard because it's been sitting for a while it gets kind of glued really good but it'll come out easily if you have you have the right tools you can probably do it faster so there you go once you take that off just pull out the carburetor a little bit there's two links remove the links one goes to to the governor actually both of them go to the governor on this next video i'm going to show you how to clean a carburetor and basically that's going to be the same for a honda gx series engines most of the mighty m they use other brands uh honda clones or maybe uh tecumseh or even predator and power horse and there's another brand um really similar to the hondas that the carburetor sits in the same spot that looks the same basically the carburetor has the same inside so i'm gonna fast forward this video and make sure you look at the video right everything that i take off it's gonna go the same way back and make sure you uh you have a spiral tip cleaner because that's the that's the main tool you're gonna have to use and carburetor cleaner that way you can spray the jets and everything every part depending how how dirty it is you're gonna have to spray it out um other than that just you know kind of look at the video and then when you're gonna put it back just do the same this is gonna be the same steps uh i'm gonna have a third video on it just to make sure that we go over every every item on the carburetor and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up. Thank you.
on this third video basically i did everything on the second video this third video there's just one other piece that i have to take off and it's a plastic piece on the side and uh, once you take that off with the uh, spiral tip cleaner you're gonna have to poke inside and there's several jets they, that you have to clean that you have to poke them and spray them out and after you do that then you put it back the, the same way you got it out and um, put that uh, o-ring back the bowl back and you're ready to go it's ready carburetor will be ready and just i'll probably have a fourth video and that's just gonna be after i already put everything back together and it's gonna be on the engine running and it's probably gonna be like maybe 15 to 16 seconds or so but basically it's it's an easy task it's not a big deal it's i mean it's probably if you do it right if you want to do a good job and then you want to make sure that when you pull that pull the 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 rope on your engine on the first start on the first pull it'll start then take your time and if you have to take an hour take an hour and put everything back just like the, the way you got it out and i promise you you're not gonna have problems you're gonna it'll start right quick and always make sure you have new fuel as well if you have old fuel on your tank make sure you drain it and put new fuel on it the easiest way is after you take off the carburetor just go ahead and uh take off the the hose clamp and let it let it run out and then put put new fuel and you'll be ready to go and maybe just check your spark plug as well make sure that your spark plug is good you can also uh spray it with a carburetor cleaner and put it back and that's it that's i mean it's just as simple as that so if you have any comments questions anything just go ahead and in the bottom just leave your comment and subscribe and hit the thumbs up and thank you very much for watching this video.